back, welcome back, welcome back. Hey, hey. Um, if you guys didn't see my last video, I was talking about baby melodrama and how I was a side chick. So I was gonna make a second video of what I've been through for the past four years. Because yes, I gave him a chance. Um, we're together now for the past four years. Well, we, we're gonna make four years in October 11th. Um, yeah, for the past four years, this witch, if you wanna, if, I'm not even gonna call her human. Um, she's been making life, our life a living hell. She's been using the court system to basically harass us, harass his family. Um, she's been going, we've been going, and we're still going in and out of courts. Um, we're false allegations of rape, child abuse, you can name it all. She just wants to get full custody. Um, so she'll make up this outrageous uh, stories. And at one point, my boyfriend almost got locked up because she said back in 2011 that he raped her 27 times. Mind you, they were married. He raped her 27 times. Um, he will pick her up, throw her against the wall, kick her, and all this stuff. You guys, if you guys meet my boyfriend, he's the loving person that, I, that I've met, and he still is. He's not violent. He's not aggressive. He's He doesn't rape me. Like, whatever, like whatever bitch. Like, she just makes up all these lies to try to get him in trouble, to try to get back at him for him leaving her. Um, he was gonna leave anyway. He was going through a divorce. He was he was even sleeping in his car. But anyway, long story short, that's the story, basically. I'm trying to make it as short as possible. She, every time we have the baby, she'll call the cops to do wellness check and say the baby's in danger. Um, Typhus will show up almost every weekend to my house. Um, what else? She's been going to the courts, in and out of courts, saying all these ridiculous things. Um, at one point, my boyfriend hadn't had his visitation supervised because she claims that there were dogs in my house. Mind you, I'm allergic to dogs. I don't have any dogs, but I do have kittens. But that's before. I never had dogs or whatever. He was living with his parents at the time. Um... Since she didn't get along with my brother's, with well, my boyfriend's sister, she went and <clears throat> made up this lie to the doctor. She manipulated the doctor. This, I'm telling you, this bitch is crazy. She went to the doctor's office, switched doctors without my boyfriend's knowledge. She manipulated this doctor into thinking that my boyfriend's unfit and that my boyfriend has dogs in his house and that he's letting the, he's letting the dog bite the baby. The way the baby will come up with marks is because her cat used to bite her. And the baby used to come to us and be like, I don't like, um, what's that, Snowball? I don't like Snowball because Snowball keeps biting me. Biting me and she'll show the leg. But anyway, the cat was the one biting the baby. She knew this. She went to the doctor, made the doctor write a note saying, oh, we, um, the, uh, what am I saying? I'm like so like angry when I speak about this. Um, she went to the doctor, she wrote, the, doc the doctor wrote a letter saying that the baby's in danger of being in my boyfriend's house because the dogs keep biting. Mind you, Typhus came to the house for the same exact reason. They didn't find no dogs, no nothing, they closed the case. Um, they had a, a, a court inspection of the house, that's two times, there's two inspections. They didn't find nothing. She got this letter, went to the emergency court hearing a weekend before my boyfriend had to pick up the baby. And and um, what else? Why am I so lost in thought? Anyway, so yeah, took the baby away. The the my boyfriend always takes pictures of the baby before and after. The judge didn't want to hear it. The judge is saying, "I'm gonna go to the for, with a side of caution. I'm gonna s give you supervised visitation for three months." For three months, my boyfriend, had to, my boyfriend had to go to this place where they sit down with the kids. Um, I guess it was two hours. They get two hours um, twice a month. It was just a horrible experience for my boyfriend. And it's like a hard time that he didn't get to see his daughter. Um, anyway, they made the report. The baby's always excited to see him. Anyway, he had good reports. We moved out. After all these years, we moved out into our own little apartment, which I'm gonna show in a different video because it's a mess right now. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> I have no bra on. I, I will work overnight, so you know, 
I had to sleep all day. Anyway, yeah, he got his, his it came to the point he got his, his parenting time supervised. Um, he, what else did she do, the witch? Anyway, we moved out. My boyfriend took it upon himself to call the courts and be like, I would like a full house inspection so I will not get blamed for anything. So we bought the cameras in case she accuses of, of anything else. The home inspector came, they found a fireable, boom, good report. He got his he got his visitations back after the supervised visitation. Um, ever since he got his visitations back, the bitch don't like it because he got not only that he got an extra day, guys. He had an extra day and she don't like it. Um, she's been making his life a living hell. Like today, he was supposed to pick up the baby. Um, it was Columbus Day. He he gets it for Columbus Day. He had to work, so he let her know I have to pick up my baby after after three. The bitch send her daughter two hours away. Her excuse is, oh, I had to get surgery, so I had to send her two hours away with her grandmother. Mind you, her grandmother lives with her. Why is the baby two hours away, knowing that he had to go pick her up? It, it pisses me off. Um, the last, and in the, in, in the, in the, visitation, the visitation before this one, her excuse was, oh, I'm good. My boyfriend was late on child support, but that was because of his, that was because of his, um, his payroll. He had, he had a problem with payroll. So he told her, okay, I'm going to give you the money on Friday instead of this Friday. She did not like it. So she made up an excuse and said that she's going to get evicted because she was short on rent because of my boyfriend's fault. So she, she, he couldn't see the baby because he had, she had to take her to go get help public assistance to pay her rent that was her excuse um what else it's so many guys it's so much drama that we're going through right now it's still going through drama um she hasn't called lifers anymore or anything okay sorry about that my video got interrupted because of a phone call um anyway she hasn't called lifers because of the, of the cameras because she knows we have cameras so she ain't that stupid to look stupid in court Anyway, that's what, what, what we're going through right now. A lot of bullshit crap. Um, if you guys have any advice, it's been four years of this. We've been in and out of courts. Right now, my boyfriend's fighting back. He um, After she put the, the, the harassment charge on me, that's a, that's, a, that's a different video. She had put a harassment charge on me. Um, my boyfriend, I, I countersued her with disorderly conduct. My boyfriend, Put another charge on her on top of my charge um, for harassment so let's see how far she's gonna get with this we're tired we're gonna fight back if you guys have any advice to give us about the situation please let us know or please let me know in the comments down below um, anyway thanks for watching this video um, yeah that's my story guys I don't know what to do and I don't know what to do about this hair anyway Peace, love, and lipstick. See you guys in a different video. Bye.